What's up, my zombies? So we are back with another Universal Yum box. We are in Poland today, so I'm excited. I've already seen some of the snacks that are in there, and I'm, like, really excited. So the first one we have is Tapsy Cheese and Onion Chips. Can I hold them? No. They look like ruffles. I'm so excited. I love onion. I think I've said like that. They a lot thicker than... I love cheese. Like ruffles. Kind of a weird shape. I want a bigger piece of that. They're a little weird. They're kind of... These are good. Know. Huh? These are good. They're good, but they're not like a regular potato chip mm -mm. quality. Mm -mm. Consistency. Kind of tastes like a Pringles, but softer. I don't know. Oh. I like them. They're cheese. They're I don't know how much onion tastes to them, but they're mostly cheese. Mm -mm. They kind of taste like sour cream and onion type for chips. Or like cheddar sour cream. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Anyway. They look like oh. really thick, but they're, they have, they're like light and... Airy. Well, that was those. Mm -hmm. Those are delicious. I like them. What's the next thing we want to try? I don't care. I'm actually kind of full because I just ate. I just had a sandwich. Then let's try these Oxum peanuts with paprika. Before we get into, like, the sweet stuff. Hey, oh, so those that. are those. Okay, ooh. I just figured before we get to the sweet stuff. So they're like, a, I guess, a peanut. Anyway, this is what the package looks like. And also, if you... Wow, these are kind of salty. If this is, like, your first video of mine that you're watching as far as Universal Yumbox, we also did France, Czech Republic, and Greece. So those are all so somewhere These are what the peanuts there. look like. Those look like peanuts. But they're paprika. Mmm. Hmm. I like them. Not what I expected. Also, kind of off subject. These are really good. I know in one of my videos I have put a link down for my story. I'll put a new link because that link is no longer available. I don't know why. But, yeah. Okay. So I'll set those off to the side. I, if it, I thought those were going to be spicy. Not spicy no, at all. No, paprika is not spicy. I paprika. don't know. I saw pepper and I thought spice. Paprika is what you put like on deviled eggs for like the color. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or okay, so paprika. we have a... Doobies chocolate plum. Um, try plums. You might think that it's not candy. Okay, so this ought to be what interesting. So hold on a minute. Oh, is it that thing? There's there's several things in this little bag. Let's see if I can figure out if I can get it open. Which is which? So here's the thing. Those are so good. Okay, so I thought that opened it. Apparently. I am not all that coordinated. So, that is what this is. It looks like there's only one of them, so we're going to have to share it. I don't know. If anyone's from Poland and want to send me a bag of these, I'd appreciate it. So, it's this chocolate. Ew. It tastes like figs. Ew, you okay? It's so gross. I don't like it too much. It's not bad, but it was bad. It tastes like figs. And you like figs. I gotta sneeze. The next thing we're gonna try, because I really don't know about this, it's called... I have a chip. Roxy... No, Raxi Lobster Tails. Oh my gosh. Oh no. It is a candy. Oh no. I'm lobster scared. tails are a popular dish around the world. Most often served most often served simply with melted butter. In Poland, however, they are minced and made into these tiny candies. You can really taste the fresh seafood with each morsel and oh, wait a minute. 
There's no lobster in these. They're just called lobster tails due to the pink and white outer shell. It's probably a better name than pungent peanut and rum flavored hard candies, which is exactly what these are. Now I don't know if I really want to taste it at all, but we're going to try. I'm scared. I can't open it. Well, at least there's not really lobster in it because that was going to be really nasty. They'll smell bad. They're hard. I can't get mine open. Apparently, I'm not smarter than the package today. <laughs> These are not good. I'm trying to swallow this. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Pulling. If that's your idea of a delicacy, ew. Hopefully, I have no neck. The next thing we have is called croaky. Cro croaky. I don't know if I'm He's saying like it right. He's like a candy that I used to eat when I was like really young, and I like. I don't know what it is. That's nasty. Anyway, croaky, milky cream fudge. Okay. The Polish loves sweet milk. But their favorite milky treat of all. This is their favorite milky treat of all. Um, little cows, before you gasp in horrible, let us explain. These chewy candies are called croaky, which translate to little cows. Hence the cows on the package. They're one of the most famous candies in Poland, and they're easy to see why. The chewy fudge is made with creamy milk, mix of milk, butter, and sugar. And even better, just stick to your teeth. This traditional, traditional oh, recipe geez. is an old world favorite. She's over here eating it. Well, I guess that's the best thing to do. It says it's milky cream fudge. That looked like caramel. Is it more caramely based or fudgy based? It doesn't look like obviously it's bad. I don't know. It's not. Not like something I'd want like all the time, but it's not bad at all. Compared to the last two things we had, no, it's good. No, it's not really fudge. Mm mm. That's good though. I think in fudge, I think of like chocolate. This isn't. This isn't chocolate. Can I get the next one? Ooh, let's do these. Yeah, that's so good. What's it called? Wawel Milkies. 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 Probably up. I just closed it. Hold on, hold on. Let me show the camera. I just did. Gotta get close. That's what it looks like. With extra smack. That's all I can read. Extra smack? Extra smack. Oh, that meant something. I don't remember what it said. Apparently, I'm not smarter than the average package. I don't know, but a couple of these things have been so disgusting. I need to get some water over here. Oh, got it. My water just blew up on my pant leg. That was cold. I split it evenly. It doesn't smell too good. It's really dark chocolate. Not a huge fan of dark chocolate. I actually kind of like it. It kind of tastes like um a Mounds bar. No, it tastes like those Andes mints or whatever without the mint. It's like a Mounds bar. This one's good. I'll give them that one. Okay, so we have one more thing in here, which is pretzel sticks caramel coated. Yeah, no, they're called Suelo caramel pretzels. Oh, that just hit the back of my teeth. It hurt. Okay. Oh, They're tall too. chocolate dip sticks called Peprero. Guess what? You're about to try the Polish version. Okay, so I guess there was ones that they had from South Korea. This is now the Polish version. Thin pretzel sticks and milky fudge. Bring it to fudge? Fudge, I said. Bring it together to a Polish's or Poland's most iconic treats in one superb, superb snack. These aren't just any pretzels. They're flaky, 
slightly sweet, delicious Polish pretzels. Okay, I don't know what makes them different. That's what it looks like. Looks like Pocky. Looks like Pocky? A little bit. Yeah? You're gonna like these. Mm hmm? I so said you're gonna like these. I could eat these. I so. could eat those too. And these Is that the end of combine, the box? Mm-hmm. Okay. These combine with the with the, uh, the <coughs> pretzels combined with the chips. I think would be great. So I think my favorite thing out of everything was the chips. Um, there were several things that were good. I mean the pretzels were good, the chips were good. It's just a different I'm just flavors. saying these were my favorite. These are so good. Anyway. Owen, you did good. So to get was say. Poland. Our last box was France. Last box I was like France. Them. And um there's a bunch of others there, so yeah, if you want to go look at those. I don't know what more to say. Again, I'll leave the link to my story down to the bio. I know who's in Poland. Ooh. There's some people over there serving a mission. Uh, sorry, my water blew up on me. I have like it's dripping off my sweatshirt now. Who who who's serving a mission over there? Rose and Sandy are over there on a mission right now. Who's Rose and Sandy? Ex and Ma families. Oh. Anyway, well, hey, if you're watching this, come send us this. <laughs> I live on one two three eighty six Elm Street. I don't know. <laughs> stupid anyway that's the end of this this is kind of like dragging on longer than i wanted it to but again all you got to do is go to universalhumans.com again not sponsored if you want to get your box for next time so i'll see you guys next video whatever that may be peace bye